Vulnerable families facing complex issues will have better support through a new $5 million fund at the end of this year. Now, it aims to improve the social service ecosystem by supporting initiatives that strengthen coordination among agencies and organizations which drive social causes. Tan Sehui with more. Some families here continue to struggle because of various interlinked challenges. For instance, the breadwinner of a family is unable to work due to health problems. This could lead to the family falling into debt and their children struggling at school. Despite the best efforts of community partners, the family doesn't move out of their circumstances. They might even feel that getting help from various agencies, such as the Health Ministry or the Education Ministry, adds to their burden. To help such families, the government is offering a revamped roadmap for the social sector. It came about after a year of consultations with 250 stakeholders and includes a greater collaboration among sector players and a focus on medium to longer term plans. We should move towards diversity and sustainability of our resources, supported by more innovative approaches in philanthropy and deeper and closer partnerships between funders and their supported organizations, and ensure that we focus on collaboration to maximize impact, optimize resources, and tackle challenges in, pre in the present and future. Social service agencies say some of the challenges they face include not being able to pool enough funds. That's because most agencies approach the same donors. So the new $5 million fund is likely to help them as it will bring in new partners. With this fund, we could do more and we could even tap on uh, making sure that the, uh, we go into areas of digitalization with the, child, with, the, with the youth. The bigger challenge that we face is actually the capabilities, um, sector professionals, the training needs as well as are we ready to to uh, support the the expansions that we are going through there will also be online tools to guide agencies and organizations such as ways to better manage resources and formulate strategic plans a committee will be formed to oversee the sector to implement these steps over the next 5 years